Bringing home a new dog or cat family member is likely going to be a fun and exciting experience for all human family members. It is our job to facilitate rewarding and positive experiences between our new dog and cat family members. We'd like all our new pets become fast friends with their resident pet. It's more realistic to expect that it might take a while for them to become best buddies. Today we're heading to Pig and Betty's home to learn how to facilitate positive and rewarding introductions between our furry family members. First and foremost, establish a cat safe zone in your home. This is an area that is completely closed off so that your dog cannot access it. You'll then begin to gradually introduce your dog and cat, making sure to work in small desensitization steps to ensure there is not a negative reaction. The first exercise is scent swapping. You will need two used but clean socks, such as those that have been washed and dried. Rub one sock on your dog and seal it in a plastic bag. Rub another sock on your cat's cheeks and seal it in a plastic bag. Open the bag and allow your dog to smell the cat scented sock. Immediately followed sniffing with a dime-sized yummy treat like hot dogs, cheese, or chicken. Repeat the same process with your cat for the dog-scented sock, using a bit of canned chicken or tuna fish as the reward. Complete the scent swapping activity a minimum of three times a day for one week. The second desensitization exercise involves feeding both your dog and the cat at the same time on either side of the cat safe zone door. This helps your dog and cat associate the presence of each other with good things, food. The third part of desensitization involves room swapping. After one week of scent swapping, confine your dog to another room and allow your cat to explore the rest of the house for a period of one to two hours. If you have another safe space in which to confine your cat for a few moments, you can place your dog on leash and allow your dog to explore and sniff the cat safe zone. Once your dog and cat are comfortable eating on either side of the cat safe zone door, you can proceed with supervised visual contact. Set up a physical barrier, such as a tall baby gate, so that your cat and dog can see each other but not directly access each other. Reward both your dog and cat with yummy treats for calm body language. If you are unable to get your dog to focus on you, move her away from the barrier until she can. Once your dog and cat can calmly hang out with each other next to the physical barrier, you may proceed with a face-to-face -face supervised greeting. With your dog on a leash and super yummy treats ready, allow your cat to move freely about. At no point should you have either your dog or cat in your arms. Reward your dog for calm behavior and be ready to use your obedience cues to have your dog focus on you if he or she is showing too much interest in your cat. It is a good idea to teach any new cues or practice your pup's new cues prior to the introduction. Repeat supervised face-to-face -face greetings until you are confident that your dog will not chase after or play too roughly with your cat. By following these simple tips, you will be well on your way to ensuring your cat and dog get along.